Welcome to North Hudson Public Works Utility Committee meeting. We are virtual today via Zoom, Thursday, August 19, 2021 at 5.30 p.m. Call to order roll call, please. Chair Pike. Here. Trustee Matz. Here. Trustee McGurn. Here. Item number two on the agenda is approve the minutes from our last public works meeting. I need a motion. Move to approve the minutes from the July 20, 2021 public works meeting. Second. Thank you. Um, any discussion? Any changes? All right. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Item number three is comments from the floor. And I don't see anybody online. Item number four is extension of existing sidewalk to Michelson Street North, east side of 6th Street North, discussion and possible recommendation. Um, you all have uh, an issue statement in here from public safety and a diagram of what we're talking about. Patrick, uh, why don't you fill us in on what you've learned? Um, so I just got uh, emails a short time ago. Um, the cost of this sidewalk extension with the pedestrian curb and the sidewalk and it's about 75 feet um, will be about five thousand dollars and to do the grading topsoil all that is another two thousand um, so I would suggest let's just if you want to approve it and move it on to board I'll whittle it down from there but if you want to go with like 7,500 or 8,000. I'm pretty sure I can bring that price down just by helping out doing a few things. Okay, it, uh, first question is um, the sidewalks in the highway right away, correct? Yep. Um, is there any issues with the state? Not that I've been told. And I checked with uh, Stacy Lambell. Um, and if we choose to do that, that's that's fine. They're okay with it. Okay. Number yep. two is, is the fence that is existing in our diagram here. Is that in the right of way or not? I think it's right on the line and uh, we should be able to do this without um, disturbing any of that. Okay. So looking at it, Patrick, are, are we thinking of just sloping it down from the fence basically to the curb or are you going to drop it and then go flat to the curb how are you going to do it let me uh let me get back to it i'm sorry uh okay i'm assuming you're just going to slope it and then the sidewalk will run right uh well the sidewalk does the sidewalk run a couple feet away from the curb or right up to the curb no i think uh i, I i'm not exactly sure how that's going to work i'm assuming that it'll run a little ways away from the curb um, and then I don't have a good picture, but if you go by seasons over where seasons used to be, yep. that's a taller curb. It's like, right. uh, stands up. So that's the pedestrian curb. So yep. we'll put that behind where that slope is at. So okay. actually we won't have to slope it as much and it'll okay. basically serve as kind of a miniature retaining wall, but it'll be okay. much better. And yep. we should, we should be able to do it without any disruption any disruption or having to acquire anyone's property or anything like that. So great. Um, and timing on this particular thing, if we push it to the board and the board approves in September, what I was told is they would do it when they, um, finish up on section five, when they start pouring curb and stuff, they just come along and do that. Okay. Make a motion um, so we can talk about this. Yeah, I just had to, I didn't even want to make a motion if it was something the state DOT was going to say no to. So go ahead. Move to approve putting in a sidewalk um, as stated in the. Do we have an issue statement or not? Um, well, the chief. The chief has an issue statement where he says, what? 
Well, he didn't that's make a public safety. That's the public safety issue statement. Are we going to have a issue statement for public works? Or are we working off the same one? Because the information in that is that it was not approved yet by the state. Right. So the, the issue would be a request for extension of sidewalk from the north side of the driveway at 554 6th Street North to the intersection with Michelson Street North. If you're making a motion. Yes. Yes. Move the sidewalk from the driveway 554 6th Street to the intersection with Michelson North with a cost not to exceed $8,000. Need a second. Second. All right. Discussion. Mary. Can we can we get um, the the written confirmation that it was approved? I don't know, Patrick, if you've got um, something that that you could share, or um, and then the proposed cost. And I I assume in your motion that it was that the village would pay for the eight thousand dollar, not to exceed eight thousand dollar cost. Is that correct? Correct, for now, yep. And can I ask, is that typical for other sidewalks in the village? Who, who pays for the installation of the sidewalk? Are we departing from a uh, normal procedure here? Well, I guess, uh, I, go ahead. Go ahead, Kevin. Yeah, so uh, Melissa reached out to me about that exact question. And according, according to the village's assessment policy, sidewalks in existing development areas are 100% village share. You don't special assess for those. And that's been the practice ever since I've been working up in the community. So yeah, you wouldn't be doing anything that hasn't been done in the past. Thank you. Yep. So coming out of public safety, um, we talked about how the crosswalk is at the corner of Mickelson. State has to put in the curb cut and ramp is already going to be poured. And so it'll be poured into the person's lawn and the, the sidewalk won't be there, but it'll be a little strange just to have the curb cut and like that corner all finished. So it's gonna look really weird if we don't do it. Any other discussion? Was that, was that a question about, are we gonna have a curb cut? No. no. That's part of the plan, right, Kevin? Yeah, it it's is. Cut. Yeah. It's yeah. already there. Yeah. Right. So you, I've you seen have it. a 75 foot strip of grass <laughs> that would just be, yeah, you wouldn't have a sidewalk in that close to each other. So it, it definitely makes some sense to have that connection piece put in. You'd have about a three foot drop off to drop down onto that bed ramp from the grass. So. I'm not sure what that means. What do you, what do you mean, Patrick? A three foot drop. Well, that mean that means once it's all finished off, if you're walking on that grass to get to that pedestrian ramp, it's about three foot above that ped ramp. Without the sidewalk. Without the sidewalk, yes. And, if we were to not do anything. And and with the sidewalk, it'll be smooth a smooth sail, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have it in writing from DOT, Patrick, that they approve this so that we don't have to wonder about that again? I can I can get it in writing. I um, I just got all this stuff like not ten minutes ago, so um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <clears throat> I can put all this together for the board meeting and have it on, and I'll send it out to you guys before that. My correspondence with Stacy Lembell, and um, there was someone else from the state that she had talked to about um, putting the sidewalk in and they stated that if the village wanted the sidewalk, that it would be just fine and it would be 100% village's cost. Okay, any other questions? Um, for me, when the chief is telling us it's basically he considers it a public safety issue, I, it is something that I think we, uh, you know, as public work should at least move forward and let the board decide. I am not, there's nothing here that says how it would be paid for, whether it'd be coming out of unassigned funds or where it would come out of, because we don't have in our public works budget something for new sidewalk stuff. We have repair of sidewalks 
and there's only like 2,500 is last I checked in that account. So the village will have to find the dollars. We need to sell Patrick's new truck. Pardon me? We can sell Patrick's new truck. Sure. <laughs> I'm okay right. with that. Any other discussion? As this is a spending issue, Mary. Yes. Bill. And I say yes as well. Phil said yes, even though I couldn't hear. All right. That takes us to item number five, chair update. I just hope everybody has a, a happy Pepper Fest and that you will attend and enjoy it. It's uh, it's going to be a little shorter parade, but I did go up and look uh, right from Seasons Tavern down at all the way down to Mickelson. Looks like that uh, cement is all done. So we will be, uh, the parade will be going down that route. Um, I'm assuming they're going to sweep it up a little bit, but other than that, it looked pretty nice. will be fun to have people on there. All right, item six, engineer's report. Kevin, you want to give us a quick update on the overall 35 project, just as it relates to North Hudson, please? Well, I guess the thing that we've been notified is, is the um, underground utility work is going to start up again. Um, okay. That's going to be next Monday is what I've been told. So that's going to be down by South Street. Um, all the other particular items, uh, maybe Patrick can step in and um, give an update on, I know some of the concrete payments been put down. Um, maybe some things, maybe you can share some things on the bridge and update on that. But underground utility is scheduled to start up again next week. Yep. They, uh, I guess they, they poured the concrete today from Summer Street to Mickelson in front of uh, Techniques, um, but they didn't do the whole, they did like the west driving lane. Um, and then the other side is staying open uh, to traffic so the residents can get in and out. So it's gravel on that side. Um, and then they'll come back and do that other half of the street, I assume. Um, and as far as the bridge work and closing the bridge and all that stuff, that's from what I understand is not going to happen until after Pepperfest. Um, they're going to let us get that all done. So I'm, I would assume the week, the week after probably, um, they'll start thinking about closing the bridge and doing, doing that work. So. So, and just a reminder to all village residents, August 23rd through September 3rd, the bridge is supposed to be closed. And I don't believe there's going to be a need for traffic. I've been informed that there is a fire truck that's going to be up here for us while that closure is going on. EMS is fully aware of our situation, has made plans to be able to cover us from the north. Um, so everything should be good, except... We got a longer route if we want to go to the hill in Hudson. <laughs> Anything else, Kevin, on your engineering report? I do not. That's Wisconsin it. Street's doing good. Everything's ready to go. Yep, everything's been submitted into DOT, so everything's on schedule for the bidding in January of next year. So. Okay, and Derek, how's uh, that going up there? Yeah, the really the only thing that's left up there is the final lift of the asphalt. Okay, and I got to get up there. Yeah, restoration. But other than that, the project's pretty much finished up. Booster station. Booster station. I know they've had their submittal into DNR for approval for the booster station. I haven't seen mm -hmm. it back yet, but I know they do have it in okay. hand for review. So great. Yep. Okay. Well, thank you, sir. Any other questions for Kevin? All right, Kevin, you're excused. Thank you, All sir. Right. Yeah, thank you. Have a good night. Yep. Item number seven, director's report. Patrick. <clears throat> uh, I 
don't have a whole terrible lot. Uh, just was going to let you guys know that the brush cutter and the grapple bucket we have. Um, I also, we got the patch gate installed in the Mac so I can uh, go ahead and get that spray patch machine rented. Um, and then they, we took it the day, the day after we took the 550 over and they installed the salt sand spreader. So that's all, that's all done. Uh, we're just basically cleaning up parks and stuff this week. We had corrections in for two weeks. Um, they did some park cleanup. They cleaned up around the village hall, did some weeding and mulching, things like that. But other than that, I don't have a whole lot. Any news on the goats? Yeah, I just got to go get them. <laughs> All right. So everything's ready for them to go munch away, huh? I think so. We got the fencing and the. I just have to go buy a battery. Um, okay. Fencing and the solar charger. Okay. So great, great. Yeah. Any questions for Patrick? All right. That takes us to item number eight. Uh, Public Works Capital Equipment Current and 2022 Budgeting. Any questions about that or thoughts? Yeah, I'm wondering if we could just review the, um, the capital improvement project list and about what's remaining on that list to help us start to think about the 2022 budgeting. Okay. Just... What did you have a question about on there in particular? Well, there's several there's several items, and I just was wondering if we can check through since I'm newer. What's what's remaining on the list from the scoping and the projects and things that will need to be considered for 2022? I did talk to Kevin today about the uh, um, St. Croix Street that we have the LRIP funding for. I'm going to get it updated number for that so we can put that in the budget for next year um, and I also talked to Melissa about it too so um, it'd be nice to get that one done that's been on our plate for a while so that was that that was like uh, are these estimates I assume from the capital improvement budget list um, old like from 2018 yeah okay yeah so I, I just I'd like to get a an updated yeah idea of what it's going to cost. Um, and the only other project that I wanted to add um, is right in front of the elementary school. I'd like to fix that sidewalk curb gutter and move that hydrant. That's so you're right talking about the Lemon Street one now, Patrick? Correct. And that was like that in 2018, that was like $1.1 million estimate. Oh yeah. No, I not, not that. <laughs> no, that's not how far I was going to go. I just wanted okay. to do right in front of the elementary school and uh, curb and gutter work, replace sidewalk um, and then move a hydrant, probably buy it, purchase a new hydrant and move it. So maybe like for the next meeting, you could, um, I assume you're working on the budget right now for next year and we could maybe yeah. see a, see kind of what your priorities are as far as what's not done and then the new things and sure. however close you have for a, for an estimate. So we can just kind of look at the total for sure. the public sure. works projects. That would be great. Yep. Okay. All right. Anything else about equipment current and 2022 budgeting? We just quickly, I just want to make sure I quickly have. So the St. Croix Street project, that was at 68000 in 2018. That's a check. check. Yes. And then the Lemon Street is what we just talked about. Then you're, well, you're thinking about, no. That's, that's, I think that was a whole project, um, water, sewer, um, mm. all the way up. So no, I don't. I don't know that we want to dive in quite that deep, but I was just going to maybe okay. make a smaller project out of, okay. out of some of that. So you'll, up, you'll update that projection yes. and then river, Riverside on the list. 
Riverside. Does it say any more? I don't have it in front of me. Start I'm at sorry. Meadow Drive and finish at Helen. Um, and that was two hundred and forty thousand estimate. Okay. Uh, yeah. At the retaining wall, Patrick? No, I don't think so. Okay. No. Um, I'll have to find out. I don't remember putting that on there and maybe it wasn't mine. I don't know. And then the so, sixth street bridge, I assume that's was, uh, the bridge from Wisconsin bridge, uh, Wisconsin street Start at the bridge, go to Wisconsin. That's what you're talking about earlier. Yeah. Okay. So that's upcoming. And, and then, then sixth street from Wisconsin to Cratley. Yep, and that's what we'll be doing next year. Next year. Right? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, oh, that's the 35 project. <laughs> that's the 35 project. Yep. Check. So that's in, that's included in 35. Yep. And then Wisconsin Street third to sixth. That's next year. That's the Wisconsin yep. Street project. That's so there's two yep. two of them on there. Yep. That and then you'll let doing. us know the new ones, the additional ones. Correct. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's and it. If you, and if you want, if you have the time or desire or whatever, if you just stop in here, I can go through some of that stuff sure. as well. And we can talk more about it if you want more explanation on things. So I'm willing to do that. So sounds good and then i so then we'll be coming up since this five-year plan ends in 2022 so then next year there'll be a new five-year plan developed is that how uh well well yeah we'll we'll just keep adding to it what we don't get done and then projects that we want to add to it i guess so it'll be a new one yep we kind of uh every budget cycle we look at the five-year plan mary and we add to it and subtract to it based on what our priorities are so it's a kind of a continuing five-year plan. So it's a rolling five-year plan. Yeah, rolling would be a better way to say it. Correct. Thank you. All right. No other questions about budgeting. Item number nine, discussion of future goals and agenda. Public Works Committee. Um, any future goals and agenda items? Well, we want to put the five-year, the updated five-year plan or updated capital improvement for mm -hmm. future agenda. Yep, sure. I, I have it written down. Yep. Thank you, Patrick. Yep. All right. No other future goals and agenda items? If not, that brings us item number 10, and we are adjourned at 553.